young, there wasn't really much guidance. I got in trouble not because I was a bad kid or anything. It was just, I was misunderstood, you know, and, and that's the only way you can draw people's attention. You try to do your best, but never seem to get far. No gas in the car, looking for a buck in the jar. Ex-girl on the phone saying life is hard. And that bitch left you with no money on your cards. You lying to yourself with no pause. I I've had my problems with the police schools, um, all kinds of stuff. Back in the early 2000s here in Den Haag, me and a friend of mine, Analog, we were giving rap workshops to the young aspiring rappers and musicians and artists that had an interest in music. And Mr. Props was one of those kids that would come to the ciphers, to the battles, to the writing sessions. And from the first moment, from the first meeting, I could tell immediately, like, this kid is different. This is the street. I started writing when I was 16. It gave me something. My name Graf, yo. All my friends had, like, Camouflage bucket hats and, and, and jackets, and you know, and we thought we were gonna take over the world. I only started writing for like a week. Right away, I got put in front of a mic. That was the first time I went on stage. And I was nervous like crazy, but I enjoyed it, you know, and I was hungry. And I just, you know, started screaming and thought it was DMX and everything. And I wasn't like lyrically the strongest or whatever, but everybody kept saying like, your voice is, 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 is dope. Like you, you should do something with that. And I didn't sing back then, you know, um, but I was like, okay, maybe I gotta s try and see where I can Take this. No man controls you, cause you the one that knows you. Got fixed cards when my hand got dealt. I'm realizing shit stinks, so I'm just saving myself. And I don't need help. You like me? Nah, that's unlikely. I sleep tight, but never let a bed bug bite me. At that age, hip hop was very aggressive. And prop was straight up and down hip hop. East Coast, New York hip hop. I know he had his problems in the streets. He was committed as an artist, but he still had his foot in the streets. He had to make money, he had to survive. I think if Mr. Props wasn't, didn't love music so much, it wasn't so involved and see what talent that he has to be as an artist, I think the streets could have got him. He would have had no other way out, just like a lot of the youth here in Holland and across the world. He's one of those diamonds in the rough. Driving around the city with my head down low. The day that I got shot, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. A friend of mine got into an argument with somebody else, and before I knew it, shots were fired. And then the guy that, that, you know, shot him pointed at me. Before I could even finish my sentence, I was on the ground. I just remember it hurting, and my life sort of like flashed in front of me. And I looked at it like, you know, like a, a slideshow. And I just felt like really bad, like shamed. I thought, if I meet my maker right now, like, how, how am I gonna explain not using all the opportunities that are presented to me? And that's when I decided to stay. There's a lot of work done. You need to go. 
The treatment was really important for me to, to let certain things go. That, that was my first, well, unofficial album. 85, something wrong. Mommy crying, daddy go. Wasn't me, nosebleeds. Empty fridge, no groceries. Tear drops running down my face. It's just one of those days. If you and me would meet someday, I think the first thing you would say is something like... I had like a lot of ghosts and a lot of static that couldn't, that didn't want me to focus. So I put it in songs and just finished it. The moment I pressed send, you know, on SoundCloud and all that stuff, like I cried. Like there was such a release, it was like, I lost like a hundred pounds. I've made some mistakes in the past, but something that is cannot change. I try to do the best that I can to wish it all away, but I will do it all again. I will do it all again, yeah. I will do it all again and again and again. I got a guitar for my birthday. Um, it was a year before Ways got released. I started messing messing around with it a little bit, you know, and I'm not good or anything. But then um, I just recorded some bar chords. That song turned out to be waves. That, that that's like the first four bars, four bar chords that I learned to play, and I recorded it on Fruity Loops, and then the song just existed. The amount of songs that we recorded in, in uh, Rebel Studios is a lot. I was in a crisis and I needed to shoot a video, so. Um, I reached out to them, and then um, they were like, "Yeah, come over. Let's 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 do it." My face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels like I can see the same. Ways was a sort of experiment that he, ja, the world in launched, and had geen idee dat dat zo zou worden opgepakt. Wave after wave, wave after wave, I'm slowly drifting, drifting away. And it feels like I'm drowning, pulling against the stream, pulling against the stream. Singing, before that, there was no live singing. There was no karaoke bars, there was no singing in the shower. There was nothing. When I started singing, I felt really uncomfortable. But I was so scared that I had to do it. I had to do it. You know, if, if people tell me I can't do it, even if I tell myself I can't do it, I have to do it. show with uh, the opposites in Paradiso in Amsterdam and uh, we performed the, the single that that we had out at the time amazing show you know all these lights in the sky and hands in the sky it was the best night ever and then I came home you know just feeling great In the middle of the night, I just woke up with this crackling noise, like paper 
you know, being folded or something. And um, I realized, like, that room doesn't have a light, but there's, like, bright light shining out of it. So I ran to it, and I saw fire just starting to spread. Fireball, like a super crazy inferno. Everything was, it was just flames shooting out. And then I turned around in my whole living room, everything was black. And I couldn't breathe. I had to crawl on the floor and I had to jump out the window. Ja, hij heeft al een enorme reis samenwerking op zijn naam staan. Waaronder met Winnen, Kleine Vieserik en die op zit. Zijn stem vraagt al langer om een soloalbum. En als het mee zit, verschijnt dat dan ook eindelijk, eindelijk, eindelijk deze zomer. Nu is er vast de single Waves. Mr. Props, welkom. Two days later. Like, I was still coughing up, like, the, the, the black stuff that you get when you, when you inhale smoke. And my life changed. Mr. Props. I was scared, but I was like, this is it. This is where it all led up to. All of it, you know? And I, it felt like I got carried or something. I remember going outside to smoke, and then my friend came and he refreshed the iTunes list, and we started like freaking out because it was number one, and I never expected that to happen. It went on Spotify echt keihard. You saw, you saw the aantallen met the day groeien, and how that then its way finds to the bigger public, to the radio. Too. Giel had een van de meest uh, populaire radioshows in Nederland. Voor het eerst live, Mr. Props, Waves. En toen moest hij de transitie maken van, uh, ja, ik ben een rapper en nu moet ik gaan zingen. Daar ligt een druk en, uh, en dat zie je ook. And then all of a sudden, like, everybody in Holland just stood up, like, who is this guy? You know, like, we should embrace him. And that's what happened. Like, everyone was supportive, and then it just spread out. Thank you, here is Mr. Props. Mr. Props! Yeah! yeah. My face above the water My feet can't touch the ground Touch the ground, and it feels like and I can see the sands on the horizon every time You are not around I'm slowly drifting away Drifting away the single, Waves from Mr. Props! Yeah! Five years! The most played single on 3FM this year. Unwise gefeliciteerd! Applaus! Mr. Props. Ja, ja. Ik ja. had achter de rug. Ja. Hij is gebroken. Was het oplicht, denk je? Ja, zeker. Oh, wat schattig. <laughs> all of a sudden, there were like all these remixes and bootlegs that started popping up. Like there were a lot of 
requests from labels, can we please license this one? And, you know, it's like going to, like, being amongst your friends and one person asks you if you're going to that party and you're like, nah, I don't want to go. And then another person asks you, you want to go to that party? Or are you going to be there? And you're like, nah. And then the third person asks you and you're like, okay, so maybe that means I got to go to the party, right? We started getting all these requests and um, labels kept hitting us up. Me and my manager were like, uh, if we're going to do something like this, that has to be the one. Wave after wave. We licensed it to, to Sony, and then it didn't take long, man. <laughs> it just went really fast. It just flew, you know? UK, Germany, France, everywhere. It was crazy. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Goes by the name of Mr. Probs. Yes. I had no idea who the hell Mr. Probs was. <laughs> and then I heard his record, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> drifting away. Waves. Yes, sir. Okay. You made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, so after Waves came out, you know, of course, the whole world, like, wanted to know what, what I would do next. And th there was just the expectation that I could never fulfill like it is impossible especially for someone that doesn't sing right with for someone that was still working on a hip-hop album when when he created a ballad you know <laughs> finally I have a song I have one song that's perfect for radio, in my opinion, you know, and we just put it out. She's okay, and I'm all right. She's away, I'm up all night. Nothing really matters Nothing really matters I see her You know, Nothing Really Matters was um, a, a ballad too. The first time I sung on a piano in a major key, you know, a positive key, and I was trying stuff that I never did before. She completes me, sad she reads me right and wrong home. It's so clear she all that I need, all I need, yeah. And I know what it feels like, and I know what it feels like. Swim through the stars when I see her, and I don't need it because I breathe her. Everyone wanted like a remix, and then uh, Afrojack popped up and he made a remix for it, and then they uh, serviced that to radio, which did pretty well. and. Still, people had like an idea that I was a dance artist, you know, which which I'm not. Like I'm I'm no genre artist. The collaboration uh, with Armin Van Buren is um was pretty cool because um we met each other at the Bima Awards, and he won several awards for Waves, and I won several awards for This Is What It Feels Like because uh, those tracks were big sort of around the same time. And you know, like you always meet people and you know, you, you give them finger pistols and like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta work in the studio, man. You know, and then it never happens. But with him, there was just this energy. Yo, let's, you know, let's do a track together. Cause I, I just, I was in love with Waves and I said, you know, I love your voice, let's do something together. And I looked at it as a challenge. Like I really want to make a dance song now just cause I want to do it. Just to see how it would turn out if I would do it on purpose. Yeah, anders doe je die eerste keer looking for another you. Dan krijg die. Oh, 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 oh. Happiness, da da. 
Maar dan met koortjes, hè? Zo. Looking for another. Let's say, 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 say. Looking for another you. Wat is het toch? Ja, man. Mr. Props showed up one day and he played me a very short first idea for another you. Die eerste line zo sterk. Of die eerste twee lines toch? I'm not saying I'm not sorry, I'm just looking for another you. That's so hard om zo binnen te komen. I'm not saying I'm not sorry. Just looking for another you. He told me that he had this demo and he didn't know what to do with it. It was just a, a rough idea and it wasn't finished. So I said, well, can I have a go at another you? And he said, uh, yeah, go for it. Just looking for another you. We put it out, shot a video for it, and now we're touring the world. I'm not saying, I'm not sorry. I've been very fortunate to be playing a lot of these big festivals. He was very, very nervous for every performance. With his shows, it was just go. Slowly but surely, I just started getting like a sort of, I don't know, something that was already there, but it just loosened up. It's a different type of crowd. Like, if you would cough in the mic, they would just freak out and you know, give you energy times a million. It helped me build my confidence on stage. And that's what I needed. Because that I take into my own shows and use that there as well. And it, it resonates. I feel great when I'm on stage now. Like, it's just fun. I'm having fun, like, and the more fun I have, the more the crowd is picking up on that. Thank you, Bell. I was doing these shows in uh, in Holland. It's called Vrienden van Amsterdam. And out of the blue, I got a call from somebody like, hey, we got 50 on the phone, you want to talk to him? I'm like, sure. The guy who we're proud of who you work with is Mr. Props. Well, I actually had an opportunity to hear his music. Like how you would, would imagine it to be, that was exactly how it was. You know, from, his, from the sound of his voice to the things that he said, and that, that was cool. Vocally, the way he sounded on the record, it didn't sound like anything that was playing on the radio at the time. Out of nowhere, he was like talking about this concept that he has for um, this record. It wasn't that difficult for him to hit the notes. He was enhancing the tones on the record. Really improving your song? Yeah, because... So you he, say Mr. Prof was improving 50 Cent song? Mr. Prof can sing mm -hmm. a little better than 50 Cent. <laughs> yeah. System thumping, the club is jumping. Toast to success, then take it a little higher. May tomorrow bring you everything your heart desires. Let you drive an ambition, uh, offer you new visions. Yeah. May your gut instincts help you make good decisions. Come on. This is more than champagne. This is more than just a glass. It's a symbol of accomplishment we rarely ever have. <laughs> Let's enjoy tonight like tonight's our last. We can focus on the future and reflect on the past. The main goal, there's something that's drawing me, you know, and even talking about it, like, you know, causes like a little, I don't know. 
it's not one thing. It's, it's, it's more than that. Hopefully, and that's also with some of the songs that, that I've, I've made in the past, like there's someone out there that gets the, the right idea at the right time, you know, and, and, and might look at it in an optimistic way. Like, you don't have to go through shootings and house fires and accidents and all that stuff to, to get the message. You don't have to do that, like, you know? But just know that however bad you think things are, they can always get worse. So you might as well stop, enjoy what you have, and keep it moving and go from there. Light a match, let it burn. Smell the essence of exquisite herbs. We are all pride, excited earth. Just to grow, we need a little dirt. Bye-bye, Skiats, or Rod and Bentley's, huh? Ooh, 